And uh, part of my what I do as a mechanical engineer is I get to build a dune buggy and go race it out in Illinois. And I'm Jim Rohr. I'm a scientist at Space War System Center, San Diego. And one of the jobs that I've had is to study dolphins to try to understand how they move so fast through the water so that we can try to make ships that emulate that. Some of the other stuff that we have to do is understand projectile motion and the forces on it. So what exactly is projectile motion, Jess? It's this. <laughs> it's the motion of a projectile. And a projectile is pretty much anything you throw, okay? Something that leaves your hand or leaves something and has no forces pushing on it after that point. It's just sort of going through its arc. So let's talk about the forces on something like a piece of paper when you throw it. So you're pushing it, right? That changes its, that accelerates it. That changes its velocity from zero velocity to the velocity at the very end of your fingertips. And if you want it to go far, you want it to have the greatest velocity possible at that point. So once it leaves your hand, okay, so the thrust now is zero, the forces on it, what are some of the forces on it? Well, you have gravity, Jim, and that pulls it down. Pulls it down. And you also have drag. Whenever you have an object, like your projectile moving through air or water, some medium, as it moves through the medium, it has to push that medium around it, either the water or the air. And so what that causes is a drag on the object. So think about this. It's moving through the air like an arrow. I shot it from my bow and arrow. It's moving through the air. We have gravity, which eventually brings it down to the earth. And then we have sort of the wind moving by it, trying to push it back. But once it leaves the bow, there's no thrust anymore. Now, if this was a rocket ship, it'd be completely different, right? It would have gas coming out of the back, providing additional thrust. Now, does this look like a plane? I don't think so. What do you think? No. What's missing? Uh, the wings. So a plane is a little different. A plane has to provide lift. So as the air moves around the wings, it actually pushes up, and that keeps the plane afloat. Now, we don't have wings on here, so we're not really providing much lift. These fins on the end, because there's definitely fins on an arrow, right? They're there mainly to provide stability, right? To keep it moving in a straight line. Thank you.